Then you have to check whether this is going up, right or not. Right. It has to be checked at the level of the activity of the self. So that awareness is also required. So what we were saying yesterday was to be aware of what is going on in the self. But ultimately you have to be aware of this self, what is going on in the self, what is going on in the world outside, what is going on in the interaction between the world outside and me. Ultimately, you have to focus on all three. So when I describe that, when I am interacting with you, I am aware of what question you are raising, what you are saying. Right? Then I am aware of what is going on in me. Right? That evaluation of what you are saying, and then you know my evaluation of what reality you are talking about. Then my evaluation of how, you know, what part of the reality you are already aware of, you know, you have the knowledge of, or at least the information of. Then deciding that I draw your attention towards this reality. Then what aspects, you know, I you know, draw your attention towards. All this I am deciding in myself. So I have to be aware of all that. Then I have to be aware of my transaction with you. Right, whatever I am communicating to you, then I have to be aware of your response. Then do this re-evaluation. So I have to be aware of all this. Right. The world outside, my interaction with the world and my self. And ultimately if you look at the scope of this total thing, I have to be aware of this core whole coexistence. So that will be the you know, degree of your awareness. And slowly you would see that this awareness will go on expanding till you reach tight up to the coexistence. <coughs> In interesting enough, we have been doing that we have made some assumption about our own self. Made some assumption about our own purpose. And now we think that everything else is a means to reach our goal, our purpose. So as a result, neither are we aware of our own self, nor are we aware of the other, nor are we aware of the real you know, relationship between this, you know, the world outside and me. All those are under my That is why how you can go on, you know, kind of exploiting the other human being and exploiting the rest of nature. All that. And it's not to satisfy. That is what is happening there. And it will be, you know, when you do this, uh, this uh, practice for self-awareness, uh, awareness in general, you would realize that this is the most enriching thing to do. Yes. Just by way of becoming aware <coughs> of your own self, it is so enriching for you, so comforting for you. Till now you have been paying all attention to outside. Without paying any attention to yourself. And you were all the time related. So you were neglecting yourself. And you were trying to get the importance from others. So that, has, that is what has been happening. Now you will realize that at least you can pay attention to yourself. You can see your importance, you can feel your importance. Right? That gives you a lot of satisfaction, a lot of sense of fulfillment. 
this is very interesting. You want everybody else to pay your attention to you. That is why you are doing so many things. And you are not paying attention to yourself. When you start paying attention to yourself, this is very fulfilling for you, very enriching for you, very comforting for you. In fact, all these days, you know, sitting for eight hours okay, is possible because the whole exercise is paying attention to yourself. So it is very comforting for you, very enriching for you. Otherwise, even to sit for an hour is very difficult. I remember, you know, I had gone to this uh, place called Aravila in Pondicherry. They are, they are doing a lot of experimental education. So on the school, you know, I visited, the <coughs> teacher was saying that we have worked out you know, that the attention span of the child is just five minutes. So you must have the class not more than 15 minutes. Five minutes building up the topic, then five minutes you talk about the topic, and then five minutes you conclude, you know, and, and wind up. But that is there, this five minutes attention is fine because it is not something very enriching for you. So if you have to do something which is not enriching, then 15 minutes is a big time. But if it is something enriching for you, then it can be for hours and hours. So that's all. Anyway, you are, your activities are always continuous. Your desire, thought and expectation is going on. The issue is where you invest it. That is the only difference. So you would like to invest it where you think it's fulfilling for you and this thing for you. Okay. So <coughs> if you look back, what we said is that in last six Days, what we have been trying to understand is essentially this coexistence. Okay. But to understand this coexistence, we have to start from the self <coughs> and then slowly build up and come up to this coexistence. Once we have understood this coexistence, okay. then if we look back, everything else that we were talking about is just the reflection of it right? at different levels. Just the expression of it at different levels. That is what we talked about just now. And then we said that if this is the case, then the essential thing which I, we have been talking about is just this. The existence is in the, in the form of coexistence. And this is ever present. This is ever present, not that you have to create this. This is one thing. The second thing is that if this as given, <coughs> what do I do as human being? So all that human being has to do is to understand the coexistence and to live in this coexistence. Understanding of the coexistence right, results into happiness. Living in coexistence results into happiness. That is what we said in the very first thing. Understanding of the harmony, living in harmony. Leads to continuous happiness. So that is what we said in the first thing. To understand the harmony and to live in harmony. Right. Now we will say to understand the coexistence and to live in coexistence. Right. Leads to happiness. Right. To continue to your happiness. And that is what we want as a human being. This is what we desire is going to be. So this is all that I need to do, to understand the coexistence and to live in this coexistence. What else is required? Can I uh, mean, <coughs> just this morning I was uh, walking uh, around 6.30, just flowing the tempest. 
uh, when I was just thinking about this existing, coexisting, and just walking around, suddenly I, I am aware that I have this certain isolated part of that end, other end. Otherwise, from here, from there, some houses, or quarters, other some, you know, fears of my excitement, that fears came, fearness, fearness came to me. Then I said, why am I afraid of? My body will eat or be eaten and I will die. Then only then? Okay, then that's the only affair. That clearly uh, this came again. There's no reason to fear of animals, wild or domestic or any type of human beings who not affect me with those things. That kind of thought came to me. Then I was uh, thought of that. He said, uh, existence ever present. Maybe perhaps I have. Uh, even my body is eaten by the dog or the existence is ever present. Existence there. That kind of feeling was in. Then, uh, at, at this end of the day, three years back, three, four years ago, I was in Punaka on some official duty. On one, one of Sundays, I just went alone for a walking temple. I was aware, like, uh, the hour of the wind blowing, the river flowing, and Dog, 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 just when we uh, suddenly I have no, I have not calculated uh, logistically the thought like this, how we are related to the universe, and how we are related to this was not in uh, just in the, just, just, just looking at the uh, wind going for a pine tree and uh, sort of thing. But at this state of second, I felt I'm part of, I, I felt that there's no I, I'm just part of this tree, the wind, I have no feeling of uh, like, Suffering, sorrow, happiness. Just the last few seconds, I mean, that I said, I am one. I am one. Nature. That kind of thing came. I don't know whether that is coexistent or other than that. Yeah. You know, <coughs> slowly your yeah, attention will start going towards your own self. And then you will be able to see what is happening within you. So in that sense it is good that the whole process has started. Regarding the last point that you made, in a coexistence, it means I can see myself, I can see the other image, I can see this space, and I can see that these units are somewhat in space. So all three of these things are there. I am there. The other unit is there. Both of us are in this space. Right. So finally, I am able to see myself, this space, and every other unit in this space. That will be the meaning of this being able to see this space. So I am there because I am seeing this thing. So I am seeing, <coughs> so I am there, then the other units are there, then the space is there, and all the units are, including myself, is in the space. In coexistence with the space. So ultimately, I can see that everything is related to me. Right? Because the space is all pervading. Everything is submerged in the space. I am also submerged in the space. And therefore, I am related to every other unit. Every other unit is related to me. So that could be the meaning of realization of the coexistence. And you will see, if you start looking to this, it is not something very you know, kind of, uh, difficult. In fact, the difficulty is arising particularly because we have been preconditioned to think of ourselves as isolated self and think that everything else is a means to us. So that isolation is created by way of the precondition. The fact is that we are still embedded in this existence, in this coexistence, we are embedded in this spirit. So the fact is always there, reality is like that. So when I become aware of it, it is not difficult. But to go without preconditioning, <coughs> what we think that I am something very different, something very isolated, 
And I have to, you know, have something, receive something, you know, achieve something. And for that everybody is a means. The human being is a means, the rest of nature is a means. And I can use it as I want. That precondition is creating a lot of problems. Okay. So what I would do is that take this, you know, and further expand it if you remove. So I said this is the essence of what we have talked about. The existence is equal to coexistence, which is ever present. All that human being has to do is to understand this coexistence and live in this coexistence. So this is the essence of all that we have talked about, right? Now with this essence, then we can now expand back you know, and see how it unfolds itself. So that is what I would do. So this is what I have described already. So, <coughs> this program for human beings, that is our role in existence, okay, has to do two things. One, understanding the coexistence and to live in coexistence. <coughs> this understanding of coexistence can be further expanded to these two parts. To understand this coexistence and to ensure the feeling, the thought of coexistence. Right. So this understanding of the coexistence is called knowledge, it's called jnana. Right. This is based on the understanding of this coexistence. I have the feeling of coexistence and the thought of coexistence. This is called Samadhan, this is called Resolution. So if you remember, the first day we had mentioned that one possibility is that we have the all-encompassing solution of how to live in this world. And then we make effort to live in accordance with that. In the meantime, if there is some problem, we make the analysis of this problem and we try to get rid of the problem. Rather than just trying to get, you know, begin with analyzing the problem and trying to get rid of the problem. That's what we are doing. So this meaning of this all-encompassing solution or the resolution is <coughs> having the feeling and the thought of coexistence. And if you do that, right, this is the outcome of it. That as a human being, I have to do this. I have to ensure harmony in society from family order to world family order. This is the all-encompassing solution for how to live as a human being. Right. So, first is to understand this coexistence and then to ensure the feeling and the thought of coexistence. This is called knowledge, this is called regulation, all-encompassing regulation. So, this is called Gyan, this is called Samadhan. Then, the second part, to live in coexistence. This living in coexistence has two parts, to live in relationship with nature, with human being, and to live in coexistence in nature, with entire nature. So, this living in relationship with human being, from family to world family, is called undivided society. And that we have discussed here, you know, in detail, is there. The second part is to live in coexistence with entire nature, from family order to world family order. This is called universal human order. So this is what we have talked about here. So this understanding of the hard coexistence is here, this understanding part, right, here. Then, having the feeling and thought of coexistence, which is here, this part. Okay. Then, living in coexistence. Part one is living in relationship with human beings, from family to world family. 
they are living in relationship with the entire nature from family order to world family order. <coughs> this is all that we have to do as human beings. What do you think? What else is required?
That book is also there and mainly basically of course not, I am not talking about Bhutan. In India we have learned so many other things like cars and so many things. We have actually to do dealers. Then we will be at the best level. Yeah, but see, first we have to understand what is right. Then in the light of that, you will be able to evaluate what is not right. The problem with this approach of deep learning, most of this, at one point of time, there has been a lot of this writing about deep learning. And particularly motivated by people like Krishnamurti. That you have been preconditioned, okay, and which is creating problem for you. Right. So you must try to get rid of this preconditioning. Okay. So deep learning. Freedom from the known right? and things like that. But the point is that that you cannot create vacuum there. Okay. You have to fill it up with the right thing. When you fill it up with the right thing, then you will be able to evaluate all this dirt that you have accumulated and also get rid of them. So now what we are doing is we are trying to understand what is right. And we have to make this effort now. Once we understand what is right, then we can start evaluating what is not right, which we have accumulated. So then de learning will be faster. Okay? But de learning itself is not sufficient. Most of these people they have talked about this de learning and they don't know what to do with it, you know, how to fill this gap. And that is why majority of these schools which have been you know, along the line of this de-learning. Okay. At one point of time they will get stuck. That you are de-learning, okay, then what will you do? Do you have to fill it with something? Or you have to keep it in vacuum? So that has been the trouble with many of these schools, including the one in which <coughs> I think uh, uh, when uh, it's uh, difficult to learn something, uh, to understand something uh, without uh, depending on preconditioning and senses also, because uh, even the alphabet letter A, B, C, D uh, are, I think, preconditioning. You see, that is okay. You know, even the voice that you listen, you know, the phonetics are there, you know, and these phonetics you collect together and then you form a you know, sound of the words, then you have some you know, meaning associated with that. All that is there. Okay. But then out of all that, what did you understand? That is the point. This is an understanding, or this is just a precondition. Is that you understood about the reality which is being talked about, or you just came to believe something about that reality? Harmony and live in this harmony. 
So this is the core of what we have been discussing on this stage. So this is the essence. So this is what we wanted to communicate, right? To you.